Welcome back to another video of Smith Fishing Outdoors, and today it's, uh, we're doing another solo mission. Me, myself, and I, we're out here musky fishing, and we're just gonna start. I am running two suckers today, so hopefully we can get us fish on a sucker, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about what structure I'm gonna be fishing in, and how I'm gonna be fishing it, so let's get right into it. Sucker that I'm rigging up is a uh, bobber rod. When I like to rig up the bobber rods, I like to put a little bit of a smaller sucker on. Don't know why, it's just my personal preference. You can go whatever you want, but I like to put a smaller sucker on there. A lot of times they can, they swim around more and they're less, they have a less chance of being lethargic. For some reason, the bigger suckers do really well on the down rods, so. And they're not pulling the bobber under 24-7. Pull back my blackfish storm skin here. Reach in here. Grab suction. This one's already been used. We've used it before. But he's starting to pretty sure what I'm gonna start out with is a little glider. I think I'm gonna start out with a phantom. Phantoms is definitely one of my favorite baits this time of year, along with other gliders. But this one's been one of my favorites. I've caught a ton of fish on it, so I gotta throw it. It's a uh, I think it's a Lake of the Woods perch color. It's been chewed and so I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this out here. I see bait popping, so better get fishing. Okay. Fishing now. Just set up the net back there so if I do get one on, I don't have to pull it off the ground. Our back sucker's doing really good. These are suckers that we used last week, so I didn't I really expect them to do a lot. But this guy's actually running pretty good. It's almost like he's getting chased. So I'm gonna move the boat faster so he doesn't try to go underneath the boat, which he is trying to. Can check side imaging here. Thank God. All right. I like the weather today. We have a 10, 10, 25, I think, minor. Moonrise, I mean, 10:35 moonrise, which is per 10:25, I mean, which is perfect, perfect time for this fall, for for this time in the fall. This is like 10 o'clock is like my favorite time of the year. Don't know why, but the muskies seem to just, even if you don't even have a major, they just seem to bite around 10 o'clock. So, yeah, hopefully we can we can get one. We got a double whammy kind of good time going around 10 o'clock through 12 so let's catch one all right guys so what i'm looking for here while i'm driving past and scanning so i'm looking for little spots of bait like that right there is a little bit tiny bit of bait i'm looking for bait here some structure there if i can find bait and structure on one shoreline hopefully a deeper edge so i'm what i'm doing is i'm driving up shallow and then kind of driving up into like 10 and then swooping deeper and seeing if I can find any bait. Let's see here if I go out over here. Let's look. Do we have any bait? No. Not a whole lot of bait. But there is some structure there. Could be some bait on that. Look at that, there's, there's some structure right there. And a bunch of bait off of it. Look, see that bait? That's what you want. Bait, bait. This is what you want right here. You're fishing some, these are 15 foot cribs, I think. And there's tons of bait all over them. So I'm gonna flip a Yui here. Fish these. What I'm gonna do here, since this is just a tiny little spot that I found, is I'm just gonna put in one sucker. 
I'm gonna drop them uh, 12 down. And then what I'm gonna do is pick up a rod here. KS 2020 stick, shock it off. And I'm going to throw a, uh, this is the rod that I really like to throw um, rubber with. Don't know why, but it's really good for throwing rubber. So I'm gonna grab this Medusa and uh, throw it on here. See if we can get some of these deep, deep muskies because there's there's tons of bait on these cribs. So I like my chances here. A lot of times muskies when that's when they're fishing suspendos right here in this time of the year they're just gonna be sitting right below those bait pods and if the bait pods are five six feet above the bottom they're just gonna be sitting there so and they'll they'll see your bait when it's going over top five feet above them so i don't gotta worry about that let's sink just a little bit the sucker should be perfectly fine that should be like fleeced and sitting in like 12, 13, maybe. I'm not gonna put on, I'm not gonna put the other sucker in just for this little tiny little three, four crib spot with some bait on it. Plus, I can get this one deeper. It's down around. Alright guys, spot number three was a no-go. I just, I was scanning across here, found a, about four or five cribs that uh, that had a lot of bait on them. So I just stopped, dropped the down rod in, started ripping some rubber over top of them, thinking that maybe I could get one to come up and take a sniff at my uh, my deucer or the sucker. So, no, that's not it. But I like I like it. I like it. Uh, I like the like the structure and. Uh, I think we're gonna get one today with all the good times we got coming up. It's well, let me see, 8:40, so it's gonna be a good day. I like the uh, conditions, even though we don't have a lot of wind. But I hate wind in the in the fall because it's super, super cold. But it's not bad right now, so it's probably about 40 degrees. Let's say uh, we go to the next spot and we'll stick one there. There's one, there's one, there's one. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Where is she? Oh. There's one last kiss my mood. Hi right, guys, what just happened there about five, six minutes ago was uh I was ripping, I was doing my cadence, up rip, up rip, down, down, do a couple circles with your rod when I'm ripping it. And uh, I just got absolutely hit hard and set the hook, felt them on there, head shake, head shake. Didn't feel big though, it did not feel big at all. Like I felt like I moved the fish when I set the hook and the teeth marks aren't that big in it, so. I think I had maybe a little pike or a small muskie, but there's nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna keep fishing. All the all the teeth marks are in the head, so I think it was just holding on to the head. And when I set the hook, it was just holding on to it so hard it wouldn't didn't get hooks. So yeah, I think it was a little fish, but I'm gonna circle back and maybe see if I can get that other one that I saw in this spot. I know there's fish here, so. If you can see right here, this is deep, deep edge right here. I'm fishing this deep edge where it's five to 15 right here, and then it's 25 here. So I'm staying along this one line right here, fishing this all the way down. And there's tons of bait stacked up along here. And uh, that's why I'm fishing it, because there's tons of bait, and it's just an easy shelf for the fish to sit on. 
and they can just tail kick away from going to grab some food. So, what I'm gonna do today is mostly, mostly education while I'm fishing here. No promises that I'm gonna catch one, but I am definitely gonna be educating you guys on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Which I know that most of you guys like learning from our channel and it's a great place to learn because we we talk about a lot of education all of our videos are not just catching fish we still fish we're, we're like everybody you don't always catch a fish every time you're out in the water unless you're like Jesus or something or you live on Lake St. Clair but over here in Wisconsin we don't catch fish every time we're out but we're still gonna have fun fishing and we're gonna learn different areas and figure out how to catch them next you guys look at all of that bait you see that that's all bait if you could see it on side imaging that's how you know there's a lot of bait i don't know how there's not a muskie here though there's so much bait i'm so confused all right ladies and gentlemen i've decided to throw something big i'm gonna Whip out a husky here. It's black and orange husky. Throw this in the Moab. It's a little bit heavier rod. Um, I have a Rio to our beast on this Rio, on this rod. Helps me pick up line fast. Okay, now let's. Oh yeah. They're gonna eat this. Let's get this in the water. Well, that's gonna be a wrap to a solo muskie mission. I was out there, had some good opportunities at catching a muskie, but just couldn't put one in the net. So I uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. There was a lot, of ed a lot of education, talked through a bunch of stuff that I was fishing. And I mean, you guys watch the video, but um, can you guys uh, comment down below and let us know how your season's going, how your sucker season's going, how your fall's going. Just let us know how that's going. I'm really curious to to, uh, to see how your guys' season's going along with, compared to ours, because ours is going, our fall's going pretty good. So. We'll see how your guys' season's going, and uh, if you guys like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure.